Hello, my name is Davy, and today I'm going to be showing my garden. I'm gonna start right here in my backyard sunflower patch. So I have six bins, um, well, five bins and one grow bag over there. And my tallest one is that one that's drooping, but it's very, very tall. All of them are getting pretty tall up there. They're probably about 10 feet tall. Here's me for comparison. They're way up there. <laughs> okay, um, before I go into the garden, I'm gonna go repot some plants. Um, I'm getting ready to plant my fall garden here once this heat wave is over. Um, it is really getting hot here in the summers in Oregon. Anyhow, once the heat wave is over, uh, I'm going to replant these into my garden, but I'm just um, potting them up into larger pots um, so they have some size to grow. I am outside replanting all the plants, which you guys just saw. Um, I have a few left to do here. I'm just gonna explain kind of what I've been doing. So I have um, potting soil, like organic potting soil, and then a bucket of worm casting, which is like a good nutrient dense fertilizer kind of stuff. So I put that at the bottom of each pot and then I get a little plant and I watered all the dirt first um, so it would be pre-watered um, so I put the plant in get some more worm castings some dirt and then again so this is Brussels sprouts right here, purple Brussels sprouts. Um, I have, sorry about Joey barking in the background. That's Joey. I will introduce him in a moment <laughs> so everyone can put a face to the barking because <laughs> he's very cute. So it's worth the barking. But um, I have right here, I hope you can see um, spinach and snow peas some purple cat, purple Brussels sprouts, more snow peas, some purple kale, dinosaur kale, and um, purple cabbage, and more peas over there. So I'm gonna finish repotting the rest of these, um, and then I will show what's going on in the backyard. This is Joey. He is, sit, come here, come here, come here. He is like four years old and a Chihuahua wiener dog mix. And he's my little baby. <laughs> it's eating my sunflower seeds, which is exactly why I grow them because I love watching them do this. It's so funny. I am now in the backyard garden, and the first thing I wanted to show is these grapes. They are so good. They produce green grapes. We have some bunches right up there. I need to get one of my tall brothers to come and harvest all these for us before they go bad. They're so good. Behind me, I have six of these big concrete planters. These were just here when we moved in. I love them. They allow me to be able to garden at like a perfect height for me when I stand up. I don't have to bend over at all. Everything's just at waist level at like arm's reach. Um, and I can lean on it for support. I really like it. And then behind these planters, I have these big 30 gallon pots. So there are lots of these pots back here. 
These are a new addition this year and it's really increased my growing space, which has been really, really fun. So here's the first planter. This half is zucchini and this half is squash and pumpkins. Uh, mostly squash, but I do think I have a few pumpkins in here. And in the middle, we have some zinnias that are just starting to grow. Um, and I plant marigolds in pretty much all of my garden beds to help control pests. You can see the interesting flowers starting to form on this. And some zucchini starts in here. Next we have my basil bed. I have a bunch of basil planted in here. I've got regular basil, Thai basil, purple basil, and Tulsi basil. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I think it is. And then marigolds and some really pretty cosmos. I'm growing a bunch of flowers, like the marigolds and the cosmos, to dye clothes with this year. So I've been collecting them as they get into full bloom and saving them and pressing them and drying them and such. So I'll have to do, maybe I'll show some of that at some point. But yeah, here's the cosmos. They're really tall. So in this first planter, I have just regular green beans growing. And then here we have sweet potatoes. This is my second time growing sweet potatoes. I'm really excited to see how they turn out. I grew them from um, like starts that I started myself with sweet potatoes from the grocery store that were non-treated. And then I have cucumbers growing. Here's one right here. This is about ready. I'll probably come pick that tomorrow. Then next we have my very sad melon bed that is at the very end of its life. I picked off the last of its melons today. It has one left right here. And this bed is about to turn into a fall garden bed. I do have some watermelons that are still growing over here. So I'll leave this side alone until these um, mature um, once the vine starts to die back and then I'll know they're ready. But this will be, I planted, so there's clover you can see here. So I planted clover in my garden beds thinking that was going to be really helpful for keeping moisture in the soil. It didn't go so well. Not going to do that again. We're going to pull it all out this winter. Um, or this like spring, I'm going to get rid of it all. <laughs> Most of it's been pulled out. But the middles of some of them still have some clover left over. Over here, we have another cucumber plant. This one's just a uh, miniature muncher cucumber. Um, and then we have some yellow beans. I really like growing colorful beans. I think it's really fun. More sweet potatoes. And then this is our lemon cucumber bed. Oh, speaking of lemon cucumbers, here's one that's ready. Wow, this one's actually really ready. I'm gonna leave this on the vine actually and let it mature all the way so I can save the seeds from that because that's a little bit overdone. But we have a lot of them growing here. This plant is always really prolific. Um, we, all of my family really likes these, so I grow a lot of them. I have some sad pepper plants growing. A few of them have some peppers, but they did not do so well. Next year, I'm starting my own peppers from seed, so hopefully they do better. Then I have a two flower pollinator attractor pots with sunflowers, marigolds, some hummingbird flowers, some corn flowers, I think these are called, or straw flowers. I don't know, you can hear the sound. I'm really excited for more of those to come up and some more dye flowers um, and one little squash in there. All of my squash this year got eaten by squash bugs or stink bugs and so I waited until all the stink bugs were gone. I had to annihilate them and 
with soapy water and catch them all and it was so gross um because they were in the clover and it was bad it was so bad <laughs> so next year i'm gonna be planting them later and with diatomaceous earth on them so the bugs can't get on them or will be less likely to but every year i learn something but this is my first year gardening where i've really like planned the garden and started everything from seed pretty much so it's been really fun now this bed is carrots and underneath the cardboard is baby carrot starts that are just haven't started germinating or they haven't started sprouting yet they're just germinating still so i have them covered for moisture but we have some fun carrots in here here's some sticking out of the ground a little bit these are red carrots um, i have three kinds of carrots planted in here um and some sunflowers these are red sunflowers which is kind of hard to see with the sun but yeah and here we have some fennel which i grew for the bugs you can see a lot kind of flying around another cucumber plant and then back here we have a cucamelon which is just starting to get some little cucamelons on it there's one right there and then i have some purple bush beans these are my favorite this year and some chocolate mint back here i planted it in a planter so it wouldn't take over somewhere in my garden and then I have calendula that's kind of like dead right now, but it's coming back to life this fall. And then this last one is filled with sunflowers. And they are colorful sunflowers. This one is just about to bloom a few more times. And then this last garden bed has some beet sprouts growing and it will have garlic in it come this October. So that was it, that was my garden. Um, it is September 1st today. So it's uh, like August, September garden tour. Definitely some things are not looking so great. Other things are looking really good. At this time of year, that's kind of how it is. Um, things start to die off and I'm gonna replace them with fall garden. So stay tuned for those videos, hopefully coming soon once I get those planted out, once the weather cools down a little bit. Um, but yeah, until next time, bye.